Okay, so I am going to uh, record, uh, do a demo of the channel plate, uh, as you see here, right? So here it is, it's already done. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's go ahead and create a new document. Um, if you, for example, need to change from inches to uh, metric, uh, you want to type in a, a startup, push enter, Um, and uh, if if you want to see the uh, imperial or metric, you push one um, and push enter. And then what you do is you close it out. All right. Um, and then what you do is, sorry, here, got a lot of drawings here. Uh, once you open it up, it'll then tell you imperial or metric, right? I'm going to do this in imperial. So there it is. All right. So. Um, before I get too carried away here though, I wanna just make sure my settings are right. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is if you don't see this, this top row, the menu bar, you go to the, the arrow on the very top and say, show menu bar. And that's gonna give you all these uh, additional features, all right? So we wanna do that. Uh, other thing I wanna do is I wanna be in this view cube. So I'm working in the top. Uh, you can also access that through view, and you'll see in here, there is your, your other viewports here, right? Uh, with your, your other views, right? So there's my top. Um, and you can also access it here. Uh, so got that. The other thing is I wanna go to the gear on the bottom ribbon and make sure I'm in drafting an annotation. And then finally, what you wanna do, this is really important, is you'll see next to the grid, there's this snap mode. There's a little arrow here. We want to go to the snap settings. Now, this is going to be very important. We don't want to have the uh, snap on. That can be very problematic because it's going to just go to those points. Uh, but we do want to have the polar tracking. And because this has a lot of 45 degrees, um, I think it defaults to 90. You want to make sure that you have 45. And the blue uh, box is checked. Other thing we want to do is on the object snap, we're going to do endpoint, midpoint, center. If you need to pause this, um, go ahead and do that. And intersection, uh, so that's snapped. And then the extension, perpendicular, and tangent. And again, if you want to uh, pause anything, feel free to. And I'll say OK. All right. So that's all you need to worry about. It's the polar tracking and the object to snap. Make sure that those are on. So in this, uh, this object here, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I know that the overall is. 1.5 inches by uh, 1.2. So in theory, I could take a rectangle and then trim it down, but I'm just gonna start using kind of the, the, the lines as construction lines. Now, I'm gonna use the X and the Y, of course, and but I wanna determine where my zero, zero is. So it's probably best that this point here is my zero, zero, even though there's not a line there, all right? So what I'll do is I'll go to my line tool and I'll type in zero comma zero, enter, all right? And so um, I can scroll in and out. And what I'm gonna do is it, I, I can only work with what it gives us. It tells me that on the X positive, it's 0.25. So I'm gonna move my mouse to the right because the polar tracking is activated. I can just type in 0.25 and hit enter. Now it's super small, right? Because it just, there is no scale yet. Um, so I can zoom in there. Now um, that's a construction line. Now what I can do is, um, I can, with this polar snap, I can actually, without, without clicking anything, go back to where I started, which is my zero, zero. And then on this green line, I can just come up without clicking anything, uh, come up at 0.25 or better yet, you're gonna see that angle, right? So we want that 45 degree angle, which is that 135, right? So don't worry about the height of this thing or the, the length at 0.35, that doesn't make any difference. So all I know is I've got that, that 135 degrees, which is that um, 45 degrees here. And, and just what you wanna do is to verify all that, you could just go to your dimension here and just select one point and select the other. And sure enough, it's point uh, one, two, five. However, it is huge compared to the drawing. And also notice that the, the, the uh, drawing has tens hundredths and the, the leading zero isn't there. So the way you resolve that very quickly, um, because I've gone here and I've got my show menu bar, 
I'm going to go to my format. I'm going to go down to dimension style. And I want to make sure that I hit set current when I'm done with this, but go to modify. And so here's where I'll say, okay, um, let's go to the, the uh, primary units and the majority of these, some of them aren't, but majority of them are tenths at hundreds. So I'll go there. Uh, and then also notice, like you see here, the radius 0 0.8, I'm going to suppress that leading. So it'll say 0.8. Uh, looks good. All right. So that's pretty much all I need to worry about now. I got the precision. Uh, and the other thing I want to do is the fit. Now I've done this a couple times. So I know that I need to make this substantially smaller. I'm going to type in 0 0.2. Two. And I'll say, okay. All right. Now make sure the set current has been activated and I'll close this. All right. And so uh, what we should do, let's try this again, go to my dimension. Um, all right. You should see now that point, uh, let's see, let's see what happened. Point six. Let's do that a little, take a little bit more time with that. Put it at the end. There it is. All right. So you got to be very careful when you do this. That looks good. And let's also do the other one. We don't need this. Uh, there's a construction line under there. We don't need that. So let's dimension the other one just to verify very carefully and come down 0.25. All right. So that looks very good. So then I'm just going to do some basic math here, right? So um, I know that if I go to the right here, now I could type in instead of 00, zero I could type in that 0.25 as my X, but it's easiest if I just snap and then come to the right and type in one. All right, remember 1.25 minus 0.25 is one. And I'll scroll out a little bit. And um, and I could go up here at this 45 degree, but I don't really um, have enough information. But I do know that if I do my math here, um, that has to be 0.25, because if I say 1.25 plus 0.25, it's gonna be 0.5. So that's gonna be the same. So I could come up here 0.25 to the right and kind of as a construction line, and then um, I could do the same thing that I did before where I, I find that endpoint here and I could come up here. So there's, uh, or actually what I'll probably do to using this polar snap is I'm going to come over here to where this one is and just come along that, that line, all right? And you'll see the, uh, wanna go at that 45 degree angle, right? Let's just verify that, all right? So, uh, let's do that again. So I know that's that angle. So I'll take this line here. I'll start at the end here. I, I won't snap on there, but I'll come across and I'll come to the right and I'll just go to where they snap together. I haven't clicked anything yet. I'm just moving this around and, and putting on the polar lines and you want to practice this, right? So it's a 45 degree angle um, and and we'll snap it right there, all right? Uh, but then again, what we're gonna to wanna to do is verify all this. So let's go ahead and, and dimension this before we get too carried away. Let's dimension this just to make sure. All right, looks good. Uh, and that should be 0.25 also, even though the dimension isn't there, but let's just verify it. All right, that's good, we don't need that. Um, let's add a couple dimensions here though, while we're here. So we'll, we'll uh, go to this point and then go to the bottom there, 0.125, and I'll do it again. And sure enough, that's 1.5. I don't need any construction lines here, so we don't need that, everything's good. Now, what I could do though, is I know that's 0.375. So I've done the math here. Uh, and so uh, point, uh, what we know is that this is 0.25 up and 0.375 minus 0.25 is 0.125. So take my line here and type in 0.2, excuse me, 0.125, enter. All right. Uh, and then I can, just following this, I can come back at 0.5 uh, on that green line on the x axis. And then, um, a couple of things here. So I don't know, you know, it says 0.25. I don't know what that line is, but what I can do is I can cheat. I can come down here to, to the bottom and then come back up 0.2. 
I push enter, right? Hit escape. So I got all these lines here. Let's get rid of some of these lines, right? But what I can do now is because I, I, I'm using this as a construction line, I can just come down to there and uh, I don't need this line anymore, right? But let's just verify that that, that line here, the, the height of that should be 0.2. Let's just verify that. Sure enough, okay? So a um, couple things I can do here then, let's go to this line here. So I wanna make this come over. Uh, I don't really know where that is. So let's just stop here and let's go up here. So I'm gonna go from this point, I'm gonna start working up here. So I'll go to this point here and it says it's 0.75. So let's go 0.75 enter. Um, and then, um, you know, it, I, I don't know, but I, if I do the math here, I know that this is up 0.25. So I could just type in 0.25 if I wanted to as a construction line going up, come to the right, 0.25, and then come back down to that intersection, right? And sure enough, it's at that 45 degree angle. I could get rid of these, but let's go ahead and verify that. Um, before we get too carried away, some of these dimensions, all right? So I'll, I'll come in, make very careful that I'm selecting the points and I'm gonna snap right there. Uh, and then let's just do the overall. So I'll go here and I'll go to the very top. And sure enough, that's right. Let's check this dimension, point, point 0.25 here. All right, that looks good. All right, so then let's, uh, draw the rest of this out. Uh, you know, I'm actually gonna hold off for now. I'll tell you why in a second. So here is 0.3, I, I need to know this line. Now I know that because of my settings, if you recall, I set my settings here, snap settings, and I said midpoint, all right? So I, uh, I can assume, actually I know that this is symmetrical, meaning the top and the bottom are the same, right? Because of this 0.75 and the 0.25, I know that this top is 0.25. So that means that if I select right here, you'll see that triangle, that is the midpoint. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use this for two things. I'm gonna type in 0.3 and then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna come down at this intersection. All right, and then I'll just make this line here. I could do that. Now, the problem is I need this. this. So a couple of different ways I could do this. Uh, many different ways. I could just come here and I know it's point, uh, 0.125. So I could draw a line here, go up 0.125, uh, enter. Um, I could then just come down at that 45 degree, might be the easiest thing to do. Uh, but you're going to want to verify these dimensions here, right? So I could just back this off, back this one off, but let's verify all this. Okay. So meaning that these, this should be 0.125. Let's just verify that. Okay, so now here's the thing. It says point, uh, 0.3, right? 0.13, and that says 0.125. You don't need to go to this format process, but let's do this instead. Let's, I'm gonna hit escape. I'm gonna select my, my uh, number and then my properties here. You'll notice that I have this ability in my uh, precision to just manually do an override. And that's 0.125. I'm gonna grab the text and just plop it right in the middle there, all right? Uh, and then let's just check this angle here. So what I do is I come here and I go on the ribbon above to angular and um, you have to select the angles that you need. So I need the vertical and here, and that is 45 degrees. So, so far so good. Um, we could add a couple more of these angles just to verify everything here. 45, um, so, so far so good. Okay, now here's where I can, I can have a little bit of fun with this. So there is no sense of me building this out if I know this is symmetrical. So I wanna mirror this. Now a couple of different ways to mirror it. There is a, in the ribbon above, I could just click the icon. That's a great way to do it. Um, I tend, because I hate search around, I just use the command line. I'm gonna type mirror, push enter. Same exact process. Now it says select the objects. I'm not gonna worry about the dimensions. I just want the object lines, all right? So I'm gonna go here, select the lines. Be careful not to select the dimensions. Um, and so I don't need anything else here. So I'll push enter. 
Now, it wants to know where's the first point. Now, I know that that's the midpoint, right? So I'll select that and then I'll just move my mouse to the right. And on that polar line, I will click, right? So not above, not below, but on that line. And then it read what it says, erase source objects, no. So I'll just click no, all right? So there it is. Now, what I should probably do is verify that. And looking at the drawing, the only way I can really tell is this 0.5. So let's do that dimension, All right? So I'll come here, scrolling in, or I could just click, hit the top dimension. I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna select here, this opening of the C, and come to the right. All right, now while I'm at it, I should probably hit escape. Uh, let's change this one and let's just verify this. Uh, that says 0.38. We want that to actually say 0.375. I can fix that. Again, I go here and I go to my properties and I will change the precision to 0 0.000, right? And so looks good. Uh, now I can take things like this 45 and move it, put it on the inside. I can clean things up as I go along. Um, so looks good so far. Now let's add a whole bunch of these uh, additional um, dimensions. So I need this 45 here. All right. So doing my best to copy my textbook, I need this 1.25. So very carefully. All right. And I think I've got the majority of this. No, I need this little area here. So always take your time and inspect everything. Again, let's go uh, hit escape, select my font, come down on the properties and let's fix the precision. All right, now select it and move it to the center. All right, looks good. Uh, we want that 45 degree angle. And that is the vertical angle. All right, oh, wrong one. Let me do that again. So I've got this one and this one, 45 degrees. I need to add that 0.20, 0 0.20. Okay, looks good. All right, so let's continue on here. I'm afraid my dog's gonna start barking in a moment, but that's just life in the fast lane. All right, so it looks good now. I do notice that my line weights are off. So the way that I wanna handle that is I wanna go ahead and select all my object lines, being very careful, right? Not to select the dimensions. Uh, and if I do, it's not the end of the world. I can go back and just deselect it, but really just want to select the part. Now I could have in theory, maybe done this uh, before I mirrored it, might've been easier, but that's okay. I think that would have been a little confusing for everybody. So I'm just selecting the part lines and you want to make sure you differentiate the line weight because otherwise it can be very hard dimensions, especially with a complicated drawing. And then what I'll do is in my properties, I could right click and hit properties. I'll go here where it says line weight and I'm gonna select, yeah, and this is really trial by error for you guys, 0.5. Now you'll notice nothing happened. And the reason is you wanna to go to the very bottom where it says customization, make sure your line weight is checked and then come down here and turn it on, right? Now I can see I missed one, which is fantastic because now I just go here, uh, do the same thing with my line weight, 0 0.5 millimeter. And, and it really depends on the, now the, here's the funny thing. It looks really thick, but you'll notice when I do the output, it's probably a little thin. So, um, so here we go. I'm pretty happy with this, but you know, the best way to inspect this drawing is to go to my print control P or plot. And then, um, we want to use the default AutoCAD. So either, any of these are fine. And then what I'm going to do is instead of display, I'm going to select window, All right? And I'm going to go select window and I want to select just my drawing. And then I want to do preview. And this is a great place to look at your drawing. Now, if it wasn't exactly like the drawing is to the right, and it may not be, I did this fairly quickly and I haven't really inspected it. Um, I notice I'm missing this 0.5 here. Um, but for the most part, I'm good. So yeah, so let's let's use this as a good case uh, example. So what I would do then is cancel this, come in here, add my uh, dimension there. And I think that's it. Let's go the control P again and do that whole process again. Um, 
and then I'll go window here. And honestly, I'm just gonna live with this however it is. So there it is, let's preview it. It looks amazing, I'll print it. Now I recommend that you print these into a folder. Uh, so what I've done on my computer is I have my, uh, my folder. So I go to my, uh, this is in my uh, 120 class. So I'll go to 126, excuse me. And I will say chapter one, and this is the channel plate. I actually have a channel plate already in here and um, channel plate and um, maybe 1.1 1 .1 or something, right? You can, whatever you need to do, or you know what? Yeah, let's just go, it might be open and I'll say save. And you know what I'm also gonna do? I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna copy this. I'm a little greedy, all right, there it is. Uh, and you'll notice the funny thing is my line weight is, there's the drawing, uh, well actually there's the book, there's my drawing, uh, if I zoom in, it's still a little bit, it's big, but the, the font is a little bit, you'll notice it's not as, uh, we were afraid it was gonna be too uh, too thick and it's not too thick, right? So there it is. Uh, now, while I'm here though, let's go ahead and save this document. So I'll go file, uh, save as, and um, let's go to that uh, same folder, go to the folder that you're comfortable with. And I'm gonna put it in my 126. Control V, and uh, I think we call that 1.1. Whatever you need to do to save it. All right, and there it is. And I have completed the demo of the channel plate uh, and we are good to go.